Okay, this video is on how to create a scatter plot on uh, numbers using the iPad. So I'll open up numbers, this icon here, okay? Now I got a blank sheet. Uh, the first thing you need to do for a scatter plot is you have to delete uh, the table that's already on there and create a new blank one. Uh, so I got a blank screen here. So what I'll do is I'll hit the plus button and I wanna select uh, this table right here without like the dark gray boxes, okay? So it's gonna be this one right here, okay? So this is the type of table I'm going to use to uh, enter my data, okay? So now I already created uh, the data on this, um, on this um, uh, sheet here, okay? So the problem is Joel, collected data about the heights and shoe size of eight people and record the data in a table. She wonders if you can use height to predict shoe size, graph the data in a scatter plot, okay? So we have uh, height in centimeters uh, versus uh, shoe size, okay? Uh, so to create a scatter plot, uh, you're just going to highlight the data, okay? Then we're going to hit the plus button, okay? Uh, from here, I'll go to uh, the graph section, okay? And then I'm going to uh, select uh, this one here. Uh, it looks like a scatter plot, but it's got uh, plus signs as the, uh, as the data symbols. So I'm gonna click that, okay? Um, so this, this scatter plot looks pretty good, but we have to uh, add a little bit more detail to it. So make sure you selected the graph and then you can uh, format pretty much anything on here. Okay, so select the graph, hit the uh, the paintbrush here, that's the format tool. Okay, we'll start over here on the left on chart. Um, so again, you can change the color, uh, we won't worry about that. Uh, we'll start by definitely adding a, uh, a title. Okay, so we'll add a title there, and we'll make sure we change it. So it's, uh, you know, height versus shoe size. Okay, so titles there. Um, next, what we can do is we can move through other ways to format uh, this graph. So do you know what? I'm just gonna move this over to the left so you guys can see it a little bit better when I change it. Um, so again, select the graph uh, format, and you can see how it changes when I do it this way. Uh, so again, I'll start with style, okay? Um, so for style, I'll go to general and right here I can choose uh, the data symbols so I can change them to like um, You know different symbols or I can even like change the change the size it can make them uh, smaller Bigger right whatever whatever you want. Okay. We'll just keep it at tens fine. Okay uh, You can also add shadow which looks kind of cool. Okay, we're not gonna do that today. Um, you can look at grid lines, okay? So uh, you can uh, add a chart border. Um, you can also add in other grid lines. Uh, same thing on the y-axis. Got the minor grid lines uh, if you want. Okay, I'm gonna leave that off. Okay, that looks good. Um, and then again, we can move to the right to like labels. Okay, so we want to turn on uh, the axis names. We want to turn on uh, the x-axis name. And we want to turn on the y-axis name. Uh, I think that's about it on this one. And then, uh, so I'll just rename these quickly. So we got uh, shoe size over here. So this would be shoe size. Okay, and then this would be height and centimeters okay good okay uh, now another thing uh, you can do is you can change the scale a little bit uh, so again go to format this time you're gonna go to data okay and you can change the scale here okay I'm just gonna move this over so you can see it okay so you can change uh, what the scale goes up by so again I can you know, change it like that. I kind of liked it the way it was, so that's pretty good to me, okay? So we can kind of do it like that as well. And then we can also do the same thing for the Y-axis. So we can maybe make it go up by 
that looks a little bit nicer. And then we can also change like the min and max values. That way um, there's a little bit more space on either side. So uh, for maximum, for the Y axis, we can make it, I don't know, 10. Oh, that kind of changes it up. Uh, you kind of have to play around with this a little bit, so. There we go, that works. Okay, so create a little bit more space and we can create a little bit more space uh, on the X axis too. Um, so again, we can make it go maybe to like 180. See how that looks. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we can even change the, the scale here. We can go up by, go up to tens. That looks good. Okay, so we've kind of changed it up. That's a great looking graph. Okay, I'm just gonna change the color. I got a green theme going on, so might as well keep it green. Okay, good. So that's a nice looking, uh, nice looking scatter plot we got there. Okay, follow these steps.